2160M2 bomber to strike targets in the rear hemisphere. The 2160M2, Russia's newly upgraded bomber, now has the capability to engage airborne targets in its rear hemisphere. This development marks a significant advance in strategic aviation, as the modernized 2160M2 has become the first strategic bomber in the world equipped to strike air targets behind it. As part of the 2160M2S development program, which involves building new units from scratch, these models produced at the Kazan Aviation Plant now feature a rear-facing radar. This addition greatly enhances the bomber's defensive capabilities, allowing it to detect and engage threats from both the front and rear. Alongside this new radar, the aircraft has been fitted with a new class of air-to-air -air missiles that can engage targets in both forward and backward directions. These upgrades are part of a broader modernization effort to maintain Russia's strategic air power. While there have been no official details on the specific types of air-to-air -air missiles fitted to the updated 2160 m 2 defense experts have speculated on the missile systems involved. A source familiar with the upgrades noted that if an airborne threat appears in the rear hemisphere whether it's an aircraft, a fighter, or a missile the 2160 m 2 will launch missiles in the forward direction using guidance from the tail radar. In effect, the missile will be launched facing forward but will orient itself toward the target while in flight. This new technology is seen as particularly advantageous for heavy bombers, which are often deployed beyond traditional defense perimeters without fighter escorts. Standard air-to-air -air missiles from conventional fighter aircraft are less suitable for a heavy strategic bomber like the 2160 m 2 If a threat arises from the rear, a bomber of this size and mission profile would need significant time and fuel to maneuver into an attack position, potentially compromising its primary mission of striking ground targets. The rear-facing radar and new missile systems mitigate this limitation, allowing the 2160 m 2 to defend itself without costly maneuvers. However, not all sources have been convinced by the effectiveness of the modifications. A well-informed insider has expressed skepticism, suggesting that while the 2160M2S size makes it feasible to install a rear-facing radar, the existence of missiles capable of making a 180-degree turn mid-flight remains unproven. This claim appears to be at odds with historical evidence of similar missile technology. This technological leap suggests a strategic shift in how Russia envisions the role of its strategic bombers. Traditionally, such aircraft were seen as delivery systems for nuclear and conventional strikes, operating at long ranges and with heavy payloads. By equipping the 2160 m 2 with air-to-air -air missiles capable of defending against threats from any direction, Russia is redefining the strategic bomber's mission profile, making it more versatile and autonomous. The decision to integrate advanced air-to-air -air capabilities into the 2160 m 2 may also reflect Russia's broader defense strategy in the face of modern threats, particularly in an era of increasing reliance on high-speed, maneuverable aerial platforms. This shift could also be seen as a countermeasure to the growing dominance of stealth and electronic warfare capabilities in Western Air Forces. In conclusion, the modernization of the 2160 M2 is not